International police cooperation is, is completely vital with the kinds of crimes that we fight today. As our economies become more interconnected, as our societies become interconnected, any form of sophisticated crime involves two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten countries. So even if it's organized crime, or it's terrorism, or it's counterfeit, or it's smuggling, or any of these crimes, no one country alone can fight these crimes. Uh, I know that from my background as a prosecutor as, and uh, fighting organized crime, fighting white collar crime. It was very rare that I didn't need the help of other countries. So if we can work together, we can be much more effective. And that's where Interpol plays a really enormous role because it creates an institutional uh, pr a presence uh, that uh, has these countries interacting with each other. Sometimes smaller countries don't even know how to interact with a larger country. So Interpol can be enormously helpful in creating that kind of, uh, that kind of connection. But if we're talking about uh, terrorism, organized crime, counterfeiting, smuggling, money laundering, even almost any form even now of white collar crime, there are international links to all of it. And the only way one country can fight it is by cooperating with other countries. So Interpol plays a major role, even more important than it used to in the past.